Hello friends, today I have come with an interesting story. Named. A old letter. So let's get start. Once upon a time in a small village, there was a young woman named Eliza. Eliza loved old letters and books. She had a cozy cottage with pretty flowers and ivy on the walls. One day the village postman, Mr. Jenkins, brought Eliza a very old letter. It looked like it had been lost for a long time. The letter was from a lady named Eleanor to her love, William. Eliza was very excited. She carefully opened the letter. Inside she found beautiful writing from over a hundred years ago. It was a letter from Eleanor to William, who was away at war. She wrote about how much she loved him and how she missed him. As Eliza read the letter, she felt like she was in the past. She could feel how much Eleanor loved William. It was a sad story because William never came back from the war. Eliza wanted to learn more about Eleanor and William. She talked to old people in the village and looked in the village records. She found out that Eleanor and William had lived in the village and their love story was famous. Eliza didn't want their love story to be forgotten. She copied the letter and put it in a frame with a picture of Eleanor and a memorial for William. She invited people to her cottage to hear the love story. People from all over came to see the letter and hear the story. Eliza's cottage became a place where people celebrated old memories and the power of love. It showed that we can feel close to people from the past. Eliza collected more letters and books from people in the village. Her cottage became a special place where everyone learned to value the past and enjoy the present. So a lost old letter brought people together and reminded them of the magic of stories and love that can connect us across time. Eliza's cottage became a place where people celebrated the stories of the past and the connections that make us all feel like one big family. I hope you have enjoyed T-Story so please like and subscribe this channel, thank you.